Hey guys, and welcome to another Tech Guru video of the day. Um, today we're going to be in uh, Adobe InDesign CS5. I'm going to do a uh, very, very um, beginner video for InDesign. A uh, quick rundown of the program itself. Adobe InDesign is a program used for uh, print design, uh, web design, as well as uh, many other things. Uh, InDesign is a great program to uh, create uh, you know, brochures, pamphlets, um, full out books, uh, a bunch of ad companies use this to design their ads. Um, but today I'm just going to go over how to create a, uh, a document itself. Uh, so this video is for beginners in uh, de the design element itself. So this is Adobe's new InDesign CS5 and I'll do a video later on the new uh, features in CS5. But as of for right now, let's just dive in. If you have CS4, CS3, this will be just fine for that as well. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm in Adobe InDesign CS5. All I've done is just open the program down here. You can see it in my doc there, Adobe InDesign CS5. So let's go ahead and open up a new document. It says Create New Document. So I'm going to click on Document there, and the New Document panel will come up here. The document preset is set at default, and that's just your default print document. Um, really, all this is just a one-page document. Um, it's just a regular size page there. So uh, you'll want one page, and the intent is for print, but if you want to do one for web design, uh, you have that option as well. So there's print uh, design right there. So let's go ahead and select OK. All right, and this opens up our panel here. So right here you can see in the middle of the screen, this is our new page here. So we can go and do whatever uh, we may want to do. So I'm going to do a brief rundown of what you may want to do to begin your design. Uh, as you can see over here, all of this is, the, this is our tool pane here. I'm going to drag this over here onto our screen so we can get a better view of that. Uh, I have the uh, selection tool uh, which will just select objects on the screen. Uh, this is the direct selection tool when you want to get into more detail with uh, finer lines and stuff like that. Um, right here is your page tool. Uh, this allows you to do different things with the pages you create. Um, type tool, your gap tool, uh, your line tool. So let's just go ahead and use our type tool here. So I'm going to select our type tool uh, and you can create a text box here. So I'm going to Type in here test design uh, and then hit command A to select all of it there. Uh, and as you can see up here, I have all my text tools up here. So I'm going to go ahead and make that text about a 36 point there. And then I'm going to center it as well. So then once we have the text there, what I love about InDesign is these uh, you have grids or your alignment grids. So I'm going to go ahead and make the text box um, to justify right there close to my. Um, close to my text there and I'm going to drag it in and get it to about right there to where it's surrounding my text uh, perfectly there. So then I'm going to drag it and as you can see that pink line pop up that lets me know I am in the center of the page but then if I want to drag it down here I want to get both lines to where I see I'm right in the center of the page so I'll drag it there it is. So as you can see, when that is in the middle of both, that's directly in the center of your page. Uh, these are just great alignment grids to use for uh, for InDesign there. So I have my text tool, uh, and of course I, I can drag it around with my selection tool. Um, so let's try something else here. So what if we want to go and have uh, a box? So there's a rectangle tool which, allow, which allows you to have different um, elements there. So let's just use the rectangle tool here. So then here is the rectangle tool. I can drag it out, uh, make it a square. Um, so let's just go ahead and just do a rectangle there. So then I'm going to go back up and select my selection tool. And here I have here, uh, I'm going to drag over. Um, I'm going to select my uh, rectangle itself and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to drag it over and center it around my text there. So now I have a rectangle around my text, but you know what? I want that uh, rectangle to have a color and I want it to have a fill color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to, uh, let's see here what I want to do. I want to go to, to, to color here, and I want that to be an orange color. So we selected an orange there out of our color panel. And I want my stroke, which all the stroke really is, is that's just your lines around the um, the rectangle there. So I want it to be a, just a straight black line there, but I want to take the weight up to about a 5, so that way you can kind of see it better. So what I'm going to do is, that's great there, that just lets me know what I'm doing. Uh, so if I want to select, I have um, my rectangle selected here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control click, I'm going to do arrange, and I'm going to do send to back. 
So once I send that to the back, that brings the text layer up on top of my rectangle. So now I have text on top of a colored rectangle. Uh, so that way, if I want to select all of it, I'll click, drag over all of it, and I can actually control click and hit group. So now when I do that, that moves everything at once, the uh, the rectangle itself as well as the text um, text box there. So that's just a quick overview of some of the very, very simple things you can do to begin uh, Adobe InDesign. Uh, I'll do more in-depth tutorials uh, for uh, for InDesign uh, in the future. But as of for right now, uh, this is just going to be a um, a, t a little beginner tutorial for you guys to begin uh, in InDesign. I really recommend it. I recommend getting in here and if you're just thinking about designing uh, or want to get into designing, this is a great program to get in and just play around with the tools, see what you can do. Uh, I really recommend it. Uh, if anybody has any tutorials they want me to do, as always, send them in the comments, send me an email, uh, send me an at message uh, at, on Twitter. Uh, my uh, Twitter account handle is techguru77. Thank you guys for watching. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Uh, see you next time.